Okay, Poison here, and you're watching my Haze Extra Hard Difficulty Walkthrough for NextGenWalkthroughs.com. Alright, first thing I have to do is hit the Nectar and back up to this corner. Because, uh, you gotta take those guys out. Try to get headshots, but like I mentioned in a previous video, I think, um, your version gets kind of blurred when you're in Nectar, and it makes it kind of hard to see exactly where their head is, and sometimes you'll just miss it. Then uh, stay behind these, you know, eye beams, and you can take those guys out really easily through that cover. So uh, don't worry about those guys. Then I accidentally killed my teammate there because I was trying to melee that guy. I didn't know if he was dead, but whatever. Pretty surprised they didn't get uh, get mad at me for that, but whatever. They're really stupid. And then right around this corner, there's pretty much always going to be a guy hiding there. And then, uh, there's like two other guys back here. Not that hard. I get a shotgun instead of that terrible pistol, but honestly, shotgun isn't really that much better. It's kind of hard to aim. Like from the hip, it doesn't have the, the spread that would make it useful. There, one of my teammates was mad at me for, uh, I guess, blowing something up that hit him. I don't really know. That's one kind of bad thing about your teammates is, uh, you know, I may might have wanted to do that more stealthy than that guy did, but he, they always just run right in and get themselves killed. Which can be convenient, because then I don't have to. Now I'm going to get rid of that shotgun for a, uh... Promising assault rifle, the Lobo. Here you're going to want to cook a grenade and just chuck it over there, then run back to this corner. Because there's going to be a bunch of guys that run out there. And, uh, you have to be... You know, far enough to hit the trigger line and unfortunately that's too far to be safe so if you just chuck a grenade and back up might take out a couple of them and uh... if you can do that it just makes your job easier so your objective right now is to open that gate which you do from this next room here there's nobody in here still check it though be careful through all these. And the lever is going to open that gate. And. Can run on through. Alright, first thing. Going to be some more guys up on the balcony. Again, try to go for headshots. I'm kind of missed that second one up. And then uh, immediately watch straight ahead here. Do not run in there because you notice there's three people. And usually they'll all be right there. Like that guy won't run around the corner here. They'll all just be sitting right by the door here. So just don't move up until those guys are done with. And then uh, there's not anyone else you have to deal with on this side. So just hit this lever the gate will open then you start flipping out and you're lucky again because uh... your neck trader got disrupted while there were no enemies here except for uh... right here where you can kinda see the difficulty you'll encounter when trying to take somebody out while uh... your nectar is disabled So I don't really hit it right there because uh, well, I do now because that guy wasn't dead and neither was he. See, it seems like you do more damage on uh, on Hector as well. I don't really know if you do. You probably don't. I may be imagining that, but it's really hard to tell when somebody's dead and uh, you're not using it. 
because that glow is just super helpful. Even if you know where they are, and you don't need the glow to see them, it really sucks when you don't know when they're dead. Especially when they're like faking it, because then you really can't tell. Alright, first thing when you walk out this door, just like crouch down, and just move forward a little bit until you can get a shot on these guys. And I watch out below you, there's guy over there and also above you to your right there's that guy on the balcony and then uh, the second there's gonna be another guy above you on the balcony but that's once you move over here so uh, be really careful in this part because they will have gotten behind you And here, there's this guy above me, but I can't really see him. I'm going to move back, hit the nectar again. Shoot that guy in the face. Try to figure out where I'm getting shot from. Although, now I know. And then uh, right here, there's another guy up on the balcony. But, those three guys are going to run out. You can, like, cuckoo grenade and hold it for those guys if you want. But they're going to run out of there every time. And it's only when you get close enough. So, another scripted, triggered enemy location. Shouldn't surprise you in this game. So now you're going to be running down this hallway. You got to section D. Congratulations. Now, uh, just stay back here for a second. I like shooting those exploding barrels just so they can't when I'm standing next to them. Then there's going to be three guys in here. Let's take them out real easy. Walk around, pick up some ammo. Then you're going to start going down the stairs, and this part is kind of annoying. You notice they keep blowing up the stairs behind you? Those are triggered events, so you can you can stop on the stairs and not have any trouble. So if you stay up here and uh, shoot some of the people down there, you won't have to encounter them after what happens to you. So like if you stay at the top of the stairs here, or at least above halfway down you can take some dudes out except it's really hard to shoot through stairs apparently well here we go I'm gonna blow up some nectar grenades and uh, you're going to want to hide behind these boxes because you notice there was two Mantel guys standing over there and they're going to start tripping out and if you ever OD on Nectar, like whether you're holding it or whatever, you get hit by this nade, you will just start automatically firing at any sort of living being. So uh, you can just wait that out until it regulates. And just go slowly around this corner. There's going to be a couple guys back here. Whom you would like to shoot. I'm going to check for some ammo real quick. This is a great time to get your uh, B-72 Mantel assault rifle ammo. Because, you know, he had those teammates, but... They don't survive tripping out like that. They can't handle it. Alright, so, just finish up these guys here. Also, watch out for that uh, shockwave thing, because that means there's a nade right there. Alright, and I'll pick up on the next video.